Hi, my name is Vera Miljković and Blue Room is my image in the peer show. It's from a series which is called Not Here, Not There that I've been working on for the past several years. Not Here, Not There is a, it's a series about a woman in a dreamlike state occupying in between places. You could almost say that she's in a limbo. She left a place, her place, but she didn't reach the destination yet. She's stuck and she can't get through physically or emotionally and something is about to happen. I found that this seems to fit uh, with the current situation of isolation, confinement and solitude. However, I've been interested in these themes for a long time possibly because as an immigrant coming to US from Serbia with a long last name, fitting in a new environment is far from seamless. So here are some other images from that series. When I work, um, I tend to work very slowly and alone to build these images. I use myself as a protagonist and I literally occupy these place is almost like a method actor trying to fit in the environment. I find locations that I like and then I live in that space often for many hours taking images, adding things, moving stuff around or adjusting light. And if I use natural light like in this image, I might wait for stronger sun or maybe some clouds to make more shade. And it's a very, very slow process. And I build the image piece by piece or like with painting, adding a brush stroke here, another one there and so on. So these locations that I choose, they mean a lot to me. Some of them are in my home or studio, but I often try to transform the place so that they're not recognizable if you came to visit me. Um, and like in this one, where I'm actually behind a makeshift bed, uh, and the light is creating a very deep space, which is not really there. Here is an image uh, taken in an unremarkable hallway leading to my studio. And over the years, I noticed that at the height of summer around noon, there is a strong light coming down the narrow skylight. And every day when I go up, uh, around this time, I would notice this light and I would look up to that light and I would feel somewhat happy going on even though the hallway is so dreary and there are so many stairs to climb. This hallway is, has always been like a, it always felt like an endless climbing tunnel, but there would be this spark and that would keep me going. So last month, I made an installation of that image in the same space in which it was created. Um, the wall is interrupted here by a horizontal wooden molding, so I have cut into my image to make the molding visible in the part of the image. And I realized that I like this obstacle, and I, I like working with it, and even, even now I don't mind that it's part of the image. Um, and the blue room, the image in the show, that image was taken last summer in Avignon. I was visiting photo festival in Arles, which is so big it's impossible to visit it in one day. And I decided to spend the night in nearby Avignon. I fell in love with this apartment that I was staying in. And I shot throughout most of the night in various places uh, and many rooms. So, um, I love that bedroom uh, with this small chair. It spoke to me about long lost feelings. And I ended up just, I stared at the floor and the dark blue walls and this tiny chair. And I let the room speak to me. And eventually this image happened. Uh, most of these images that I've shown you so far, they have been printed before and exhibited on a large scale. But when I got the news about being in this show, I made the print for the Blue Room for the first time. It actually never existed before. I, when I start printing, I usually start with smaller image, something that's about 10 by 15 inches, 
to test the details and the color, but they're always meant to go up to at least 60 by 40 inches for um, verticals. But then a few days ago, thanks to Skink Ink Fine Art Printing based in Brooklyn, I made this image into 75 by 50 inches um, image. It's 75 inches tall and I installed it opposite my studio door and here you can see image while it's being printed. It's being printed on uh, adhesive material that sticks like fabric to the wall. And here is the final installation piece. So now every time I come through my door, I get to look into the blue room. I'm very happy to be sharing this video and thank you to Cleveland Print Room for this opportunity.